Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture OBGYN Obstetrics and Gynecology. And today's topic is obstetrics. That today we're gonna talk about and briefly the definition of and the etiology of twin pregnancies. That is what is dizygotic what is dizygotic twins what is monozygotic twins right so if you know what is dizygotic what is monozygotic twins and this will help you to when you want to what you call do the labor when you want to deliver the baby because the timing if you know the type of twin pregnancy then uh, it will help you to deliver at what appropriate week of gestation. So that's why we should know whether it's a dizygotic twins or monozygotic twins, right? So, you know, just let me brief you with the classification of the twins. The multiple pregnancies, they are classified depending on the number of fetuses, okay? Like twin, triplets, quadruplets, right? And number of fertilized eggs, zygosity, right? Number of placentic chorionicity. And then we have number of amniotic cavities, that is amniocity, right? Amniocity, right? So, let's talk about the dizygotic twins. The dizygotic twins, what you call these, arises spontaneously from the release of two eggs two eggs at the ovulation so at the ovulation if the two eggs are released then this will result in a dizygotic twins right so it can be either familial it can be racial in origin or increasing with the maternal age okay and even with the IVF you can see this uh, dizygotic twins okay um, so this is regarding the dizygotic twins right um monozygotic twins we have a mono monozygotic monozygotic twins uh, monozygotic twins arise from a single fertilized ovum okay this is a single fertilized ovum but that splits into two identical structures it splits into two identical structures okay so the type of monozygotic twins depends on uh, how long after contraception or conception the split occurs okay so monozygotic twins we have different types i would like to tell you so remember monozygotic twins uh, they arise from a single fertilized ovum that splits into two identical structures right so for example, this is a timing for that, that you should remember because this can be asked in OSCEs, okay. Um, three days, uh, if the when the split occurs within the three days, okay, within the three days of conception, uh, the two placenta and the two amniotic cavities results and giving rise to dichorionic, diamniotic, means they will have their own uh, placenta, own amniotic cavities fluids okay right so remember this within three days if they if the split occurs within three days of conception okay if it occurs between what you call four to eight days four to eight days uh, okay the only chorion has differentiated and monochorionic diamniotic results so chorion will be the main remain same but they will have still the different amniotic cavities for each twin right later if the splitting after amnion has differentiated leads to both twinning developing into single amniotic what you call the cavity and the monochorionic mono amniotic pregnancy results okay after that what it results is mca m a okay after eight days remember eight to twelve days if the splitting occurs after 12 days that results in conjoined twins and so you have uh, seen these conjoined twins okay now you might ask me why we should know the what you call the the the, the, the CDA mono MCDA MCA 
whether the twin are right. So because the timing of the delivery is really very important, timing of the management is really very important. Okay, because MCMA you have to manage very quickly, nearly within 32 to 34 weeks, you have to manage that right you have to deliver the baby in that because the more complications are related to this right so with dcda mcda from 37 to 38 36 to 37 weeks you can deliver the babies right so this is the basic idea about the dizygotic and monozygotic twins okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care